What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, we have to talk about a very interesting departure from Naughty Dog, and this is all kind of coming together. So, you know, we have the rumored layoffs, which at this point, I still believe is just a rumor. I do think it'll happen, as we talked about yesterday on Podcast Now. I think what will end up happening is that part will be uh, validated. You know, you'll be able to find the answer to that first, considering the rumor is these contractors, their contracts themselves, they expire at the end of October. And once that ends, they're just going to be, you know, leaving the company. So I feel like that part of the rumor, you're going to find out, well, very soon, the end of October. But this makes me believe, honestly, it's all real. And it makes me believe it even more. As we talked about yesterday, I do believe the rumors with the problems of this game, uh, the last was multiplayer, that is, and it being put on ice. I do believe that rumor. This makes it, I think, even more likely. And so what is this? Well, this is an interesting name and maybe not one that many people know, including myself. I didn't know his name, but we have talked about him before. In fact, we talked about him when he joined Naughty Dog and he has now actually just left. So who is this? Well, let's look at this tweet. Anders Howard, a principal monetization designer who joined Naughty Dog just under a year ago to work on the multiplayer project, has left the studio. He previously worked at Epic Games. He helped design the core of Fortnite's battle pass and progression system. So that's right. This is the guy, and I don't know which channel I made the video on, but I'm positive we talked about this guy, a guy who had a huge, huge part to play in what made Fortnite being able to, to be monetized, right, long-term. How does that system work? How do you actually monetize it? How do you get that money from people coming in every single month? Probably it's even more uh, specific than that every single week, every single day. This is one of the guys who created it. Not the guy, I don't believe at least, but he's one of the team uh, that made this happen. And he had joined Naughty Dog 11 months ago. 11 months ago, he had joined Naughty Dog to uh, seemingly do the same thing you imagine with the multiplayer. Now, I got to be honest, and I probably said this back then, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of that move literally at all to bring a guy like nothing against the guy. I don't even know what he looks like. I've never met him, never talked to him. So, you know, you can't judge him too, too harshly. However, I've talked about, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of Fortnite. I'm also not a big fan at all of what Fortnite has done to the industry. So if you have somebody who is kind of an architect of what made Fortnite so powerful in the monetization game, something that I'm not a big fan of, well, when you join Naughty Dog to ideally bring that to the Last of Us multiplayer, I can't say I'm thrilled. I can't say I was all that happy. Uh, on the flip side, though, it's it's a double-edged sword. So number one, you know, he left, and on his LinkedIn page, it shows that he left in September of 2023, so he did not make it till October, right? He's not one of these contractors, seemingly, but he's just a guy who left, was fired, you know, whatever it may be. I, I feel like it's probably that he left, to be honest with you. I guess it doesn't really matter, because at the end of the day, all right, well, uh, I guess to what I was saying earlier, well, if I don't like the features in Fortnite, uh, you know, him leaving, like maybe that's a good sign. But ultimately, the biggest sign of them all is that I think this does show that the last of multiplayer is done, at least for now. You don't leave a guy who, again, is supposed to monetize it, who's supposed to be one of the main things. I guess uh, figureheads or just like intellectuals to figure out, okay, how do we get money from people? How do we keep this thing going long term? You don't let him go before the game is out. So I, I can assume that on the other side of things, somebody defending it would say, well, you know, could the game still be happening, right? Say somebody wants to push that. And that's, that's fine if you do. They could say, well, like, what if the game is done? What if the game's finished and this guy left? Well, I would find that very unlikely considering just based off of what we've seen, we've seen nothing, right? So I don't think this game is close. This game, um, ideally, like best case scenario, say if everything wasn't falling apart, say it released like next year, next summer, next fall, you wouldn't let a guy like this go a year before. And also, you probably wouldn't even let him go when the game comes out because you'd, you'd want to kind of see like, okay, well, can we make sure that this game is going to stay uh, financially successful for us long term, right? So a guy like this, probably shouldn't leave until se like at the at the best a guy like this shouldn't leave until several months in when you have figured out how to keep this game monetized right so on that side of things i think this clearly shows that this game is done at least for now maybe not as the rumors state maybe not canceled but they've definitely put this thing on the back burner and said we're done with it we're leaving it behind i i believe that i very much believe that i believed 
I believe the rumor, uh, and I guess I would believe it even more so now because of this guy leaving. You just you, you don't lose somebody like this this early. On the flip side of things, you know, maybe we dodged a bullet. Maybe this was just going to be something that was like borderline insulting to us. Um, we'll never maybe know. So it's it's going to go down like in gaming history at some point of its life is like, what was this game? Uh, could we ever see like a, a working like prototype of this game, say from like two months ago? Like, does that exist? Can we get that in like five years from now? Somebody kind of like leaks it one day, right? Like, I really want to see it. I really want to know what this game, what they were trying to make it be and what the status of it was, say like two, three months ago. What kind of state was it in? What would it have been when it released? Like, I, I really would be interested in that. But this is big. I mean, it's big, maybe for good reasons, maybe for bad reasons, but subjectively, I think it shows the game is not making any progress because you, you let a guy like this go, for better or for worse. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.